We now move to Richard Vogel for Germany with United Touch. And we just will work out some scores with the remaining riders, what they can do to the overnight leader score. Richard Vogel for Germany, United Touch S. And what a tremendous round they produced earlier on this, after, this evening. And there you see this man searching the forwards distance, like I said yesterday, searching the forwards distance. Eight strides. This horse has got so much stride, and he uses it to perfection. He's going to have to be careful here. Five strides into the double, one less than everyone has, and he jumps it coming out, Phil. Get this, get this, get this. Still clear, 35.25. It's going to be very close indeed. He's going to stop the clock in 35.11. It's a new leader. Richard Vogel for Germany goes in to the lead on day two of the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup in 2023. What an incredible round. Jess, you've always loved United Touch. Absolutely. What an amazing horse and what an amazing rider. It really takes the two. Neither can do it alone. And you saw absolutely no respect for what canter the horse was on. Just simply use the feel and fantastic. And United Touch, you jumped your heart out, boy. And David Will, of course, works together with Richard Fogel and his girlfriend, Sophie Hinner. So. 35.11, Richard Vogel for Germany, in to the lead. Richard Vogel with United Touch takes day two of the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup final. Harry Charles in second place with Bally de Reventon. For Denmark, Andreas Scuba, Dark Deluxe in third. Piers Fitzers we've just seen in fourth place. Now let's have a look. Andreas Schuh for Denmark goes in to the lead level with Pierre Schwitzer. This is a battle of champions as we go into day three.